Mistakes in world of tanks with dangerously incompetent. Too slow, chicken marengo, too slow. I'm driving the Skoda T25, Czechoslovakian tier 6 medium tank, not to be confused with its cousin, the German tier 5 medium premium Skoda T25. We're on Arctic region, it's tier 7 battle. World of Tanks is all about risk assessment. You assess the situation, think of what you can do, assess the risks associated with doing that action and what's going to happen if those risks fail. Now I've come up to, to the corner. Several of our guys are in the centre. That's go to T25, type 64, that M4A3E2. So they've seen the Skoda, enemy Skoda T25, the enemy Tiger. And I'm starting to think I'd be better off further forward. Up to that sm small escarpment you can see ahead of me, directly ahead of me. Because if the enemy that are up there in A4A5 they're probably going to be busy with our guys in the centre. So I could get up to that escarpment and then stick my nose over and shoot them while they're busy. That's my assessment of the situation. Now, what can I do to do make this happen? Well, I've got to get across this gap in front of me. I'm a fast tank, so it won't take me very long, but the risk is that there's someone up there hidden behind those trees and a bit of the bushes just waiting for someone to expose themselves. Now at the time, I didn't notice that the T-34 has just been shot for 130 odd, 13 odd damage. So uh, it could have been the Skoda T-25, it could have been something else. So my assessment of the situation is, there's two tanks up there, there might be more, uh, that's a chance, but in all likelihood, they're busy with the guys in the centre, so I can dash across this gap get to the escarpment and then start poking that crest. With that, I reckon, and I reckon I can, the chances of someone being up there aiming at me, I mean even if they are up there and see me coming, they've still got to turn their turret for me, so I reckon I can get away with it. I reckon it's a risk worth taking. If I had noticed that the T-34 had just been shot, then I would know there is someone up there looking this way, ready to shoot. In which case, the risk is a lot greater that I'm going to be spotted and shot before I get into cover again. So I wouldn't have done what I'm just about to do. Any second now. Maybe in two seconds. Maybe three. Look at where that tiger is. He's definitely occupied with our guys in the centre. Right, that's it. Pedal to the metal. It's a risk worth taking. Uh, oh, oh, no, no, he's far away. That's fine. Uh, oh, he, let's go to T25. He's looking this way. And T37 is looking this way. And he's tracked me in the butcher of me. Ah. Well, I got that risk wrong. A lot chancier thing to do than I thought it was. And I've paid the price. Come to think about it, I read the situation even more wrongly. I should have stayed where I was. Look at where the comet is. He's come around this curve of rock, this cliff face in front of us. And he was perfectly safe to do so. They couldn't spot him or shoot him from where they were. I should have just waited for him to go round and then he could have a peekaboo and he'd have spotted them and then I'd have known it really wasn't worth the risk coming out into the trying to cross this open gap here. Well, I know better now and so do you.